So this brings up another issue. This dipstick tube is darn near impossible to see. Welcome to another episode of Alpine Garage, where we make Bronco videos daily. Today we're going to fix one of my biggest pet peeves about this motor, which is the oil dipstick. When you pull it out, you cannot see where the actual tube is for the dipstick to go into. It is black on black and you have all kinds of tubes and hoses in front of it. So it takes me a while to kind of fish and get it to where I can get it in there. So we're gonna fix that real quick. It's an old trick that I did with a lot of other vehicles that had a lot of hosing and pipes and stuff like that in the way, which is a high visibility paint pen. And I'm actually gonna mark the dipstick tube and I'm gonna mark the dipstick itself with this yellow. That way I can see it a little bit better and it's not such a pain to get it in and out. Takes just a couple of minutes, let's get this done. So as you can see from this vantage point, you can't really see the base. I kept the dipstick in there so you have kind of an idea of where it is, but you still can't see the base from the front. Most of the time are gonna be from the side. And if you look right down in between those two tubes, you can kind of see it. Yeah, it's just, it's just a pain in the butt to find. There's the top of the dipstick tube. There's the bottom of the dipstick tube right there. So now you can see it, uh, but you still can't really see the base of it. Uh, and if it's any darker, I've got it in bright sunlight and it's hard to see. If you got it any darker than that, you're not finding that thing. So the first thing we're gonna do is pull out the dipstick. I'm gonna take a little bit of brake cleaner on the end of a rag. I'm just gonna clean that off real quick. Take my paint pen and I'm gonna go all around the outside of this thing. And you see how high visibility that is. So then I'm gonna take this around the side and I'm gonna do a little bit on the side so that when I'm on the side of it, I can see it better. But now I can see it from the top, definitely. So I'm gonna give that a few minutes to dry before I put it back on again. Oh yeah, that's way better. And then second, I'm actually gonna take some more brake cleaner or acetone. I'm going to clean off the dipstick. All right, and then take my paint pen. Some dipsticks this works great on and some it doesn't. I'm just going to right above the line there. I'm just going to put a little bit of paint just like that. And that just helps me see it a little bit better. I'm going to let that dry. It's actually well above that second paint mark. Oil will get up there, but it shouldn't, once this dries, it shouldn't affect it too much. But I'm going to do that just to make sure I can see where my dipstick is. All right, now we're going to come back down in the motor and see if we can find it. Yep, there it is right there. So this makes it way easier to get the dipstick in. All right, now you see the hole for the dipstick and you see the dipstick right there. So now it's much easier. You can actually place them right where they should be. Now I'm completely happy with this project. And when I go to put the dipstick in, I can see it much easier. And that's a wrap from Alpine Garage. Please like this video if it was helpful and uh, check the end screen for more great videos and we'll see you tomorrow.